Hey guys. <coughs> hey guys, this is one of the most awaited updates on this channel. If you remember long back like a year back or something I did a video on creating desktop apps using Angular 2 and Electron and that became the most watched video ever in this channel. It has uh, thousands of views and uh, a lot of people have been requesting me for an update on that and a lot of other people have been asking me how to do the same with Angular Cli and Electron framework. So yeah guys I decided to do this today uh, I, in this video I'll show you how to use the angular cli to scaffold out a new angular project angular 4 I guess no anyway <laughs> doesn't matter uh, project and uh, then I'll use the electron framework to make that project into your desktop application so let's get started I'll create a new project now uh, angular desktop okay Okay, this is done. So we'll just open this up in our VS Code editor. Okay, let's start working on this. The first thing we'll do is we'll install Electron. Okay, npm install uh, Electron. I have installed it globally as well. Uh, I'm installing it. I'm installing it locally here. Okay, this will install Electron. And in the meantime, there's a small insect. And in the meantime. In the meantime, uh, I'll create a file here called main.js. This will have all the configuration related to uh, Electron for this particular application. So this is just a node application, right? Uh, so uh, where app browser window call this require search require electron okay and then what else we need to open this application right in a small window so we'll write code for that so i'll use a variable let window equals null this will be the variable app dot on ready we'll write a function for this event and this function window dot load url http local local host four two hundred okay uh, then uh, window dot close window dot on close another function closed this is closed and another function in this once again when equals no that's it very very simple code once the app is ready we are loading a url and uh, inside the window and so this will be desktop app mind it uh, it's not like a browser or something it's a desktop app that's running inside your uh, desktop that, that, that's running in your desktop okay uh, and once that is closed you are just setting that win variable to null now let's write more code app dot on activate event here again i'll write another function what this will do is it will activate the application if win equals null uh, create window okay then we'll write one more app dot on uh, window all close sorry closed here we'll write a function if process dot platform process dot platform will give the uh, platform in which this app is running if process dot platform not equals oh sorry guys sorry sorry i'm very sorry now it's better right it's better okay if process dot platform not equals darwin darwin is the mac os uh, then app dot quit okay okay it's a very simple piece of code we are just loading the url that's it we are just trying to make our web application run inside the desktop application right now what happened here okay this is installed wait what happened oh i didn't sorry sorry guys cd cd angle uh, npm install electron okay let this get installed Meanwhile, we have created main.js. We will add this to our package.json. Uh, 
ओके ऐड द मेन जे एस फैल इन से पैकेज डॉट जेसा पैकेज डॉट जेसा अंड ऐम ऐडिंग बिल स्टेटमेंट फॉर बिल कम फॉर रनिंग दि एलक्ट्रॉन आप ऐस वेल नौ वाट वील डू इस वील सेव दिस वील सेव एव्री थिंग एंड देन विल ट्रई रनिंग दिस अप्लिकेशन सो टू रन दिस अप्लिकेशन आब्वियस्ली वी नीड टू गिव दि कम एन जी सेव दिस विल बी रनिंग दिस एस ए वेब अप्लिकेशन ओके go to now the web application runs right just to show you that the web application runs i'll visit that url see web application runs right now let's see for desktop app runs fine as well so npm run electron so we got an error we got this error right cannot read property load you are of null oh, okay <laughs> the reason being i didn't say what was win right sorry guys this is a really mistake win dot win equals new browser window with 1000 uh, height 600 okay we i didn't sorry i didn't specify the size of the window and i didn't specify that it's a browser window so now let's see whether that runs fine we have the server running right okay now it runs fine you can see this right our angular application has loaded inside our desktop application so this is how this is what i wanted to show you guys today this is how you make a uh, angular i mean desktop application from an angular 2 application that's been scaffolded using the ng cli the command line interface tool it's very very simple right you can bootstrap your own angular applications guys this is very pretty much very simple there is nothing to change i you saw i did it uh, right now right I, i didn't change anything here and there or something i just wrote few lines of code in a main.js file and then i am running it using uh, a command electron electron command inside the same application that was scaffolded using the angular cli tool so you see how simple the this has become now right so we'll uh, i'll show you one more thing what if we need to package this for example i have just given it like this right but if i need to package this and give it to someone he won't have this same configuration I mean, there is no thing right no, nothing like that right he need to run this for example uh, where is it you need to run this server angular app, app server first and then uh, run the desktop application which is not a uh, suitable or uh, ideal scenario right so if we uh, package an application and give it to another person he should also be able to use our application how to do that we need to point the url this url to a local distribution file which contains all our code files all the built files all the files are all built here the ng build command runs the files are all built here and then it's running inside a local server what i'm doing is i'm simply pointing uh, the url provided by that server to be loaded inside our desktop application and that's why we get this uh, output or the screen the same won't happen when you uh, don't have this uh, for example wait i'll show you I, i i'm not running this server right now if i close this and then try to run see nothing happens right nothing happens because the server is not running so this is not unable to load this particular url so the other thing i would like to show you here is we can also do a win dot web contents dot open dev tools this will uh, open the inspector chrome inspector uh, chrome inspector is this one sorry this one you can inspect what the error is. this is a dev tool for, for development purposes you can make use of this and uh, yeah this is what i want to show you guys today anyway uh, we need to what was the problem uh, the packaging stuff also we need to fix right we need to make it point towards a uh, distribution folder which contains all our codes so how to do that uh, it's pretty much simple guys it's pretty much first we'll install the packager and uh, in the background we'll do this work also npm install electron packager okay this is the packager that we'll be using for packaging and distributing our applications let this run uh, meanwhile what i'll do is get into my index.html 
instead of this href equal to slash i am giving dot slash okay a simple change and then what i am doing is i'll get into main.js and change a few stuff here i am simply giving window win.load url right instead of this i'll specify the path of the index.html file inside the distribution uh, directory okay so uh, what i'll do is i'll win dot load url once again but in, in this case we will give uh, url dot format and inside this oh, okay url ident url is the thing that comes with uh, npm so r url equals require url okay this is done and uh, uh, url dot format oh sorry url dot format okay uh, inside this what i'll do is uh, uh, path name path name path dot join uh, sorry underscore underscore di directory name this is something uh, that will take my home di uh, i mean the directory in which the app this particular project is present and uh, add it here and inside this what i'll do is dist slash index dot html i'm telling my uh, application to load the uh, file that is present inside this project's directory uh, distribution folder sorry distribution folder okay and uh, i'm also specifying the protocol as file which means that this is not http this is loading from a file you get my point right you get what i'm trying to do here see uh, running a server and then uh, pointing it uh, to, to a particular port on a particular port number and then loading our index.html we can uh, see a web application right same index.html you can uh, browse inside your local directory uh, inside your folders and then open it from there if you open it from there it won't uh, load it as in the url uh, bar if you see it'll, it won't load it as http uh, colon slash slash something like that it will be loading it as file colon slash slash that particular uh, directory's uh, address uh, directory's path and then slash index.html that's how it will load right so that's exactly what i'm trying to do here first i was loading it from this url since i was uh, taking it from a, a web server that was uh, that uh, that got started when i ran the command ng serve but now i'm trying to load that same particular index file from the distribution directory which will get created when the project is built you get my point right so uh, now this slash is true. Uh, you will understand it better when I run the app, guys. Wait. Where path equals require path. Okay. Uh, now that this is done, and uh, okay, everything is the same. Okay. Now I'll first ng build. I'm building the project so that the dist directory gets created now this is built right now if you open the dist directory you'll see that the index.html is present this is the index.html that will get loaded inside our application now i'll run the app just to show you guys npm run electron right now i i'm not running the web server i didn't try, try run ng serve anywhere right so let's see what happens see it still loads fine right it still loads fine so now you get what i'm trying to say here right the app is now loading this index.html which means that you can package this entire application and give it to someone else and for him also this application will run just the same you for example uh, wait source app app.component.html i am removing all this Okay, and say this. Uh, this is uh, Angular uh, web app running inside inside the uh, inside the desktop app. Okay. Mm. 
let me build this once again just to show you okay that uh, this is not cached or something and this is loading from this index.html file okay this is done you get my point right now let's see how to package this application we installed a library called electron packages packager for this purpose right let's see how to make use of that as well so i'm getting into here and then you remember that right uh, inside package.json i'll create another script that will help me to do that so this script i'll simply name it as package package okay i can give any name okay just a meaningful name so that you'll remember later on and uh, electron package this is the command for that you can install globally and use it from the command line interface as well that's that's up to your wish okay so electron packager dot this application so dot and then i'll give an app name uh, first desk first desk okay the app name is first desk and uh, if you are specific about what architecture what platform you are going to create for example if you are creating for uh, mac you should give the platform as ubuntu if you are creating for uh, uh, windows 64 bit you need to specify the platform and the architecture as well if you give, give uh, hyphen hyphen all the option then uh, for every uh, platform and every architecture builds will be generated so uh, if you didn't give use the platform or architecture option it will uh, generate a build that is specific to this particular operating system here i am using a ubuntu operating system as most of you would know already so uh, let's see whether this generates a build for our ubuntu operating system so i am running npm uh, i already have a build right npm run uh, what was the package right package let's see what happens uh, this has been built as you can see this has been built let's see we will first close this and i'll close this as well okay i'm not running any servers or anything this is the first desk application that we just built right i'm opening this i can give it to anyone right now and then this is the application i'm opening this just see what happens see oh we should have removed this code right okay you can see right even after packaging the application i am just able to i now i can just give this entire folder to some other person's computer and then it'll run just fine as on his uh, machine as well so this is how you package your application for different operating systems guys so that it can be shared with uh, or distributed with many people so yeah guys uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys in this video uh, you can easily create your own starter applications for this and uh, don't worry i'll show you more stuff that you can do with electron and uh, electron just electron uh, and angular 2 as a example for uh, you know web developers who would like to write desktop applications that's what i'm trying to say here so yeah guys uh, say, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more videos like that now that i have finished a series on ionic 2 mobile applications uh, which is pretty much based on the exact same angular framework uh, i am now thinking of planning uh, i mean i mean i'm planning to do a entire desktop application series how to build a desktop application from scratch uh, using this electron and angular 2 uh, technologies uh, so yeah subscribe to my channel if you would like to more see more cool stuff like this uh, leave a thumbs up for this video if you really like this video uh, i'm sorry for not providing an update for a very very long time so uh, yeah guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye